about this afternoon, you saw all the sunshine that we had and the very nice temperatures in the 50s. That all led to a very nice sunset here on the Mississippi State University campus. Check out this time-lapse video view from this evening. That is a very nice sunset. You can see the silhouettes of the football stadium and the water tower there on campus. But unfortunately, that sunset, those clear skies are leading to a chilly evening around here in Starkville. It's 39 degrees right now with a dew point of 25. Winds are out of the northwest at 5 miles per hour. That's not really helping us warm up at all. In fact, across the region, we are seeing 30s, an abundance of 30s right now with 34 degrees in Tupelo, 39 in Greenville, 38 in Huntsville. It's a little warmer though in Birmingham with 44 degrees out there and certainly no cloud cover across the region. That is helping us get cool because if we did have any cloud cover out there, it would insulate us during the overnight hours, help us get just a little bit warmer. But we are watching some cloud cover just to the west of the Little Rock area here in Arkansas. That is going to be moving in for the morning hours tomorrow. Here on Futurecast, we'll be seeing these moving into the area Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So during your morning commute, no showers to speak of, but certainly some overcast skies. We will see the potential for a shower or two during the day on your Thursday as we go throughout the afternoon hours as well. But once we get into the 5.30 time frame here, you'll certainly be seeing the cloud cover and the possibility of a shower or two. But once we get into Thursday morning, the cloud cover remains. But check out what's going on to our west out here in the Delta and beyond into the Arkansas area. Yeah, that's a line of thunderstorms that's going to be moving in for the afternoon and for the evening hours. Thursday at 5 o'clock, Futurecast has them just north and just west of us here. But I think they will be affecting us certainly as we go throughout the evening hours well into your Friday. Could some of these be severe? That is certainly a potential as we're seeing right now that the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather just to our south and just to our west. We are really right on the fringe of this here in Starkville. So I think we'll be seeing around here certainly the potential for some gusty thunderstorms with some heavy rain and frequent lightning as we go throughout the evening on your Thursday. But certainly no storms for tonight, just clear skies and chilly temperatures. Woo, 28 degrees for an overnight low with northwest winds at 5 miles per hour. As we go into tomorrow, we're not going to be seeing the 50s that we saw today. Yeah, only getting into the upper 40s. 47 degrees, becoming cloudy during the morning and the afternoon hours as well. The potential for a slight shower or two exists around the region as well, but it will be chilly with north winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Once we get into the Thursday and Friday time frame, that's when the rain moves into the area. Again, Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening into the overnight hours into Fridays when the potential for a little bit of severe weather exists across the Golden Triangle. Temperatures on Thursday will be getting into the upper 50s for highs. By Friday, we'll be in the upper 60s. Wow. But by your weekend, we clear out the rain. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Temperatures in the lower to middle 60s with no rain in the forecast, partly cloudy skies and overnight lows in the 40s. Really, what more can you ask for in the month of February for a weekend? Just an absolutely gorgeous forecast once we get through some of this rain and this storm activity for the later part of this week. With your Mississippi State University Campus Connect forecast, I'm meteorologist Ryan Hoke.